What is going on everybody today? We are going to do a quick little comparison of the AD10 Tonto and the AD10 Tonto Levelite version. We're going to just go through and do a quick little comparison of these two knives just to see which one is right for you. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time and been paying the attention, you probably will know which one is my choice. But let's get to what you guys might like and what you find you do or don't like about these knives. Alright guys, so we have the standard AD10 version right here. This is an S35BN steel. And we have the G10 scales. Now the AD10 light version has OS 10 a steel and... Basically, your glass reinforced nylon, uh, whatever you want to call it, plastic, basically. But these are not small knives by any stretch of the imagination. Here is a comparison of the PM2 between these two knives. It kind of looks pretty small in the mix of these two knives. If we can get them in an angle that we're kind of gives you an idea, you can see they got the big old butt down here and when it comes to blade comparisons we definitely have a lot more blade in the mix compared to that knife and if we want to go ahead and throw in a quick comparison of the griptilian again you can see quite the comparison of size differences now when we get into the weight there really is not that much difference between these two knives the books I think say that there's about a half an ounce or an ounce difference something like that so let's go ahead and let's see what we come up with here here's the regular version and we're just under seven ounces so yeah you're talking about a half an ounce or so difference that's not a whole lot of a difference between a knife that is supposed to be a light version compared to the regular version now when it comes to blade steels i mean the good thing is is that cold steel the, the company that is making knives for cold steel and has been for quite some time over there in taiwan is they do a great job with their heat treats and simply that is one of the most important things so with that given it's obviously the s35 vn is a better steel overall but it's for the price difference you're talking about fifty dollars so because the regular version is 150 and you're looking at a hundred dollars for the light version so Given that comparison, it really kind of starts to really boil down to, at the end of the day, are you against the OS 10 a and you have to have the S35 VN, or you're, like me, against having glass-reinforced plastic rather than G10. It, they really are kind of two totally different beasts. Now, I would... As far as the blade steel goes, I'm not a blade steel snob personally. Um, I do prefer S35BN over OS 10 a but it's not a deal breaker for me. It really isn't in all honesty. Um, they're both very good. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem with this if it had G10. I absolutely cannot stand plastic. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm just beyond it. I'm kind of over it. All these knife companies are putting it out. I'm just kind of over the whole thing. I, it's like stop already. Stop trying to save yourself money because that's really all it is. Again, $100. We're talking $50 difference. You, you're telling me that you couldn't really do this knife in Taiwan for $100? No, you're just charging me $100 for it and saying you know, it's S35 VN, and that's why we're going to charge you that much money. I would rather have the standard version. I would pay the, gladly pay the $50. And if I'm only going to have one, it's going to be the standard version. 
I'm gonna take the G10. It just feels better. This, it just feels like plastic. I mean, it's a very, it's, yeah, it's just a very different feeling. And if you guys handle enough of them, you know that there's just a very big difference between them. And for me, it is a deal breaker personally. These two knives are so identical and I would just rather, I would have rather have the little bit over an ounce of weight Especially for a knife this big, anyway, you, you, it's, a, it's a big knife. This is we're not talking about, you know, tiny little knives. We're not talking about an OTF to work, you know, like the Guardian Zero Thirty Five, where maybe weight would be a little more crucial. I wouldn't want to see this at six ounces, <laughs> but when it comes to a knife this size. I'm not, it's not a deal breaker, and a half an ounce is not going to kill me. The $50, if you guys are hurting on money, I, I understand that. So maybe, you know, the light version is more proficient to you to save that extra 50 bucks. You know, I mean, that can be another knife down the road, and I understand that. And it's not a terrible knife by any means. I put it through a company, I put it through a, a bunch of EDC tasks at work all quite a bit and it and it's whole it's held its edge it's still just as sharp and so if you can get over the, f the fact of the plastic it's not terrible it really isn't and you're saving 50 bucks which is another knife a 50 dollar knife so i can totally understand that but for me personally my opinion it is the standard version Okay guys, I hope you found this video useful. There's only just so much we can really say about these two knives. They are so close to being identical, but to me, they can be so far away from each other at the same time. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any more questions, hit me up in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them the best I can for you. And we will see you next time. Have a great day, guys.